Hello and welcome. One of the world's largest insurance majors, Allstate, based in North America, is moving from insurance to protection. What does this mean and how is it doing that? And more importantly, what is its India Delivery Center doing in this entire journey? Well, joining me to discuss this is Chetan Garga, Managing Director of Allstate Solutions in India. Thank you for joining us, Chetan. My pleasure. So, Chetan, uh, if you were to look back the seven years that you've been in India mm -hmm. and uh, the accumulation of skills, knowledge, expertise and in, in, in a deep vertical like insurance, which many other people are as well, but what has it meant for you and what is this, uh, what is this accumulation uh, reflect? Let me start with the genesis of why also India mm. began and then I'll give you an idea. So when we started, we had a number of vendor partners who were doing critical core work for us. Mm. And we were looking at an aging workforce in the US, which is retiring and natural attrition and the concern that are the keys to our kingdom, to all our systems were in the hands of the vendors and we would lose them. So the first focus was how do we get that core knowledge in-house mm. within an all-state entity. So that was the start of our organization, the intent. We started with technology about six and a half years ago and operations about three years ago. The second part that we've been now doing is to bring technology and operations together mm. because when the synergies are established, the value creation is immense. And while we have these teams in the US as well, they're typically sitting separately doing their own stuff, right? Here we co-locate them, we, m we actually gave ourselves the goal last to saying, how much can we create from a technology and operations collaboration? Mm -hmm. right? The next step in our evolution or journey is going to be as we transform as a company, as Allstate Corporation, into the future, one is you're moving from insurance to protection. So you're widening our scope of work, what we offer our customers. We're also going on a transformation journey in terms of how do we digitize much more. So how do we move to something where our insurance product is straight through and self-service to the customer with as minimal a touch as possible, right? As we do that, we need to have a strong set of people to help us get there. And I think we are now in a position where our teams are quite ready to participate in those engagements, working right. with our internal stakeholders, working with our suppliers to be a core part of that delivery process. Right, so when you say uh, insurance to protection, can you quantify that a little sure, more and absolutely. what it means to you sitting here? Yeah. So insurance typically has been around uh, risk mitigation of, for us, uh, homes, autos. We've also done life. We do corporate liabilities and so on. So it's been more on that space. But today, if you reflect on what are the most important things that a consumer has, right? One is your cell phone. Mm. Without a cell phone, you're toast, right? So we, mm. we acquired a company two years ago called Square Trade, which does warranties on all white goods. It does cell phones, it does laptops, it does Macs, mm. it does ACs, et cetera, et cetera. So we're trying so to give it have, have it in India as yet? Or? Not yet. Yeah. We looked at the India go-to-market <laughs> strategy, but it wasn't ready as yet. We weren't uh, comfortable mm. with it. But we had in the US, we're among the biggest mm -hmm. players there. Uh, among our customers, we have Walmart, Costco, and you name it, the big brands. So that's protection. What's your biggest risk today? Is your persona online, mm. your digital persona. Because if somebody hacks in, you're in mm. big, big trouble. So we acquired a company last year called InfoArmor, which is around digital safety. So we're looking at holistically, what does a consumer need to feel that they are uh, in a risk mitigated environment? Mm. Insurance is the obvious ones, mm. but now with things like warranty with white goods, along with digital safety, we are expanding that whole offering. Right, and, and what are these and how, and how differently are you driving this from India? Well, so to be fair, we are not driving this from India mm. uh, because our market is largely North America. Mm. So our customers are there, uh, our business is there, our head office is there, headquarters is there and so on. But I think we are supporting it at yeah, this point. Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. yeah. So we are supporting it quite effectively mm. by helping with optimization of uh, whether it's technology, mm. whether it's operations, mm. by learning the business, by having synergies coming across. So our next wave of transformation is going to be having a single platform. It doesn't matter what the business is, mm. right? And how do we support that? So if you take claims as a very important piece of work for insurance companies, how do, how do we do claims universally across whatever is the product we offer? So that's where we are getting in to support the organization. Right, so uh, you also uh, had a startup accelerator uh, initiative uh, a few years ago. No, we didn't. We actually, we thought of it, yeah. but we realized that to make it successful, we need an mm. ecosystem which is mm. going to be effective mm. with business partners coming in and supporting it effectively. Mm. So we took a pause on that. We said we won't get in. Mm. We work with NASCOM on mm. the NIPP program, which mm. is the, the uh, industry partnership program, mm. right? Uh, that's how we're looking at right, startups. So, okay, so let me put that a little differently then. So how are you uh, connecting with the innovation ecosystem and how, what kind of value do you see coming from that in future? 
We in see the immense future. value mm. on the start. In fact, if you think of both the, our acquisitions of Square Trade and Informa, mm. they were startups. Mm. And we acquired them because we saw a fit in our overall offering. So we are very tightly plugged in to the ecosystems in the US, mm. in Europe, and in India to understand what's going on there. Mm. Uh, we have business problems thrown out to these startups to see how they can give us some solutions that we can then uh, adapt to our needs. So mm. that's an active engagement. Right. Right. So as, as a, uh, a global capability center, when you look ahead, so what are the key challenges? I know you've been talking about talent and the challenges <coughs> of finding the talent, building talent skills, and of course you might well lose it too. So how are you building it, gearing up for it, and responding to some of the market challenges? Yep, so talent is, is one, but talent in many flavors. Um, one of our biggest challenges is knowing the business effectively, right? Because our business is so US centric and in India people don't understand all the nuance of that business. How do we bring them up mm. the learning curve to understand that business? And what we've been talking about very actively is knowing technology by itself is not enough. Mm. You have to know technology and know the business and apply the two together, right? And this integration between operations and technology is a step in that direction. Because mm. operations is really the business. It's the back end of the business, no doubt. It's not the sales side. But that's where they touch the customer the most. right? And if you understand how the operations works and what they need to do, you start getting a better sense of the business. So those are, those are steps you're taking. But I think it's a journey which we have to go through. We can't somewhere fast track it and say, OK, in six months, we can be there. Right. Yeah, as you look ahead, and I come back to my first question again <coughs> in a way that, you know, when you look at the accumulation of knowledge that you have today and the understanding of your own business and in a company that's growing. So there is, there are, there is a digital journey, which uh, in some ways you've answered that question already. But if you were to look at something more, let's say, quantum in terms of leaps, in terms of uh, uh, supporting your, your parents and their ambitions mm -hmm. uh, or your ambitions, what would that be and how are you looking at that? Uh, so one obvious one is analytics. Mm -hmm. If you think of insurance, it's all about data. Actuarial sciences, actuarial data is all going through tons of data to look at how to price insurance and how to price uh, protection and warranty, right? Today, with analytics and machine learning coming and artificial intelligence, the whole thing is getting collapsed into mm. technology and how can technology provide a, a, a baseline mm. for it or a foundation for it. We are very active in that, mm. right? Um, the availability of analytics talent is very limited the world over, mm. right? So how can we use India as a talent pool to bring that talent in and make it happen. Hmm. So that's so the talent piece on analytics is one obvious hmm. one. Uh, we also have a have an incubator in terms of an a lab, an innovation lab, which we call AllWorks. Hmm. We are using that to to try new ideas, try cutting edge stuff. Hmm. We did something very recently in the augmented reality space, hmm. right? Which uh, helps us with things like claims and adjustments and things like that. So we're doing various things in this in these areas. I think one big li limitation we have as a company is that since we are North America centric mm. and we're 10,000 miles away, mm. our customers are there, our business is there, and how do we get into that tight engagement is one key limitation. Right, and, it, and let me put that same question to you in, a, in an industry sense, right? If you yeah. were to take a step back from all states. So how do you see the horizon when it comes to captives and, and given the, the technology, uh, now that you've defined it as just technology rather than AI or uh, mm -hmm. uh, ML or NLP and so on? Well, I think, with GIC, with GCCs, the Global Capability Centers, the opportunity is to think different. Mm. Our traditional workforce is has an average tenure of 15 years, and they're so used to doing things in a particular way. How can we, as the new people on the block, think differently, understand the business, and give give solutions which are maybe uh, wacky mm. in some ways, but mm. still have value in them? Mm. That's the opportunity we have, right? right? So I see it in two, three threads. One is optimization. Mm. So what we do today, do it better. Do it faster, do it more efficiently, have execution excellence and things like that. The second is think different, mm. right? So the business we have today, we have always done in a particular way. How can we do that same thing in a different way and bring innovation and ideas? Right. That's a good note to end on. Thank you, Chetan. Sure. Great. You. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thanks, Gwen.